Hello! Today I'm here with a new video and this feels a little bit strange because I haven't been filming for for over two weeks so yeah I am here with I just washed my hair and it's like it never wants to be the way I want it to be so okay for the last two weeks it has only come up like four videos and I haven't answering like any comments at all because I have been away. I talked about this in another get read with me that I was going to I don't know the word in English. Um but a company I work for they are opening a new warehouse so I was up at that warehouse and teaching them things and I an opening in the place where my family lives so I have stayed at my dad's for two weeks and I haven't wore makeup for like two weeks I haven't filmed anything I haven't watched like any YouTube videos for two weeks so I am going to do a get ready with me even though I don't know what to talk about and it feels so strange to speak English and it doesn't feel like I sound like I usually sound so I asked on my insta stories if you wanted to see a first impression or a get read with me and it got the same amount of votes so I have some new makeup products so I am going to do both um, but not in the same video because I have one new eyeshadow palette and I'm going to do a first impression with that one and I'm going to do my like get ready with me and first impression with some base products that I bought so there we have it. <laughs> but I'm going to start with my eyeshadow and I'm going to use some of my lethal shadows because I don't know. It feels strange to use these in a palette bingo or free looks one palette because this isn't a collection. I picked those myself. So it feels strange to do like something with them because um and I don't know the name of them. Um, but I'm going to do something green and blue. I'm pretty sure. So yeah. I will just do my makeup and talk about things. Even though I don't know what to talk about. And it feels like my voice isn't... Like it usually is. But I don't know. But it felt good to be like... This is so strange. I don't know if anybody of you have like... Moved a long way from home. Or from where your parents live it feels strange because i don't know what is home this is my home because this is where i live this is where i have all my things but like where my parents live i know that city inside out because i grew up there and so it feels strange to like to know what i am going to call my home but this is my home because this is where I live. And it was I was away for two weeks and it was pretty hard. But I like realized during that two weeks that I really love my own home. My cats, my boyfriend. It was so hard to be apart from them. Sometimes, like, it was more hard to be apart from my boyfriend. <laughs> no, my cats than my boyfriend. Because my boyfriend, I can speak with him on the phone. But my cats, it's not possible. So, it feels like I have, like, lost the YouTube thing. But at the same time, I wanted to spend time with my family. And also with the friends I have that still lives there. So, yeah. That's why I have been a little bit silent. And I also realized how much I love YouTube, both watch YouTube and do videos and do my makeup. Like the last days I was there, I was like, I want to do my makeup. But I didn't bring like any makeup at all. I brought some makeup, but nothing, not much. It feels so good to be home. 
So I came home yesterday on it's Sunday when I'm recording this. I'm going to try to have this up tomorrow, which is Monday. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I came home yesterday, but then me and my boyfriend just hang out. We ordered pizza and we watched Mindhunters, which is like my new favorite series. And ate some chocolate and yeah. But today I was like, I want to record and I don't know how much I can record today, but I want to record at least two videos. And now I don't know what to talk about. But we maybe can talk about the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson palette. I have been watching this area. Like I guess a lot of you have as well, the series on... Shane's channel. I I think I like it, but sometimes I feel that like Shane Dawson, he's it's not my favorite, and what the one thing that annoys me with him is like he's like oh I'm so poor I don't have any money oh he's so rich and I'm like your videos you get a shit ton of of views you're not poor that annoys me <laughs> but yeah I think the series was it was good I have watched it all so yeah but the palette I really wanted it at first and I really really tried to get it and I guess all of you know what happened that it was so hard to get a hold of that palette I think both in like Europe and US and everywhere they like broke the internet and I had it in my cart on Beauty Bay, on the app on Beauty Bay, because I couldn't get into Beauty Bay's uh, page because it was down, but the app. And I had it in my cart and I was going to pay for it. But then I couldn't like choose my address. I have chosen an address, but when I tried to confirm the order, it was like. Please choose your address. Where can we send your package? And I was like, I have already done it, but it didn't work. And then it was sold out and I think Beauty Bay was down for like five hours or something. And I think Jeffree Star's site crashed and Morphe and Beautylish and like everything and I saw people that were on Morphe stores and it was like chaos but then when I was like okay I'm not going to get it and I was like talking to Jessica the whole time on Instagram um, but now I, I don't think I want it anymore <laughs> that's maybe strange I don't know because one that I follow on Instagram from Sweden, she had two of them, she thinks at least, because it duplicated her order, so she is going to sell one, and first I was like, oh, maybe I'm going to buy it, but now I feel like, I don't know, I don't think so. Okay, I have like talked for 10 minutes, and I don't know what I've been talking about, and I don't know if the focus is there. Before I went away for these two weeks, I felt a little bit stressed with YouTube and I hate when I feel that way because when I'm stressing about it, I don't think it is as fun as I know that YouTube can be for me. That was a weird sentence. But like this is my hobby and this is something that is supposed to be fun and I do not want to feel forced about doing YouTube and <laughs> I had like an idea that I was going to pre-record so it could came up four videos a week when I was away but didn't happen 
and I was so stressed out by that and then I don't think that YouTube is fun when I'm stressing about it and this is supposed to be fun this is not work for me this is just a hobby it is a big part of my life though but it's like it's a hobby I have I don't make any money off it I don't need to do any of these videos but I like to so yeah I think these two weeks was a good break for me in one way and I know that a lot of you seem to like my get ready with me's get ready with me's even though it doesn't feel like it feels like I want to go somewhere with these like it came to any conclusions or anything but I don't and I don't think that is the point of get ready with me but it feels like it's not a good get ready with me for me but you seem to like it so yeah I don't know if you want me to keep doing this and did any of you got the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson palette or the lipsticks or anything but it's going to be fun to see videos on that palette now I saw Annette's first impression and it looked real good and I know that she likes Jeffrey's eyeshadows and she like do amazing things with all the palettes she's using so I'm not surprised by that but I don't f I don't know it's going to be fun to see how long it takes before it gets restocked and if the same thing happens again that it's like selling out super fast again okay what do we feel about this I think I like it it just feel like every time I'm doing a get ready with me I'm, I'm not like concentrated what I do with the makeup and then when I'm like stopping and looking at it it's like oh when did this happen so I'm going to take away the fallouts and then I'm coming back and then we're going to test out some new products this is going to be the first impression I have something for my eyes and mostly my base only one base, my base and one thing more for the eyes so take away the fallouts and then I come back and we go into the new products and some of these I am so excited about so um, into the first impression the first first impression of this video so I have ordered my two first things from Milk if you didn't know this Milk is pretty new to Sweden and they had 20% off I think it was last week so I bought two things first of all I bought a blur stick and I bought a luminous blur stick and I made justice for myself that this is a base product that I don't have so it's okay for me to buy it yeah. <laughs> so this is the luminous one so I'm going to try this one today and then I also bought a new concealer I asked on my Instagram story where things is happening that I wanted some suggestions on a new concealer because I have had a problem with the concealer I have used uh, we can talk it when I come into the concealer so I'm going to start out with this and one thing that Sephora in Sweden they are not like environmentally friendly at all so I bought these two things. This was the only two things I bought. The box that they came in, came in, they came in this one. Do you see this? Do you see how huge this is? So in this one it was a little like Sephora bag in here where the two products were and I'm like how? And it's not the first time it happens. So, okay, I'm going to start with this blur stick and I have no idea. I have watched some videos. So, 
One thing I liked with this was it was a little like lid on here and now I can't like get it off. So you're just supposed to have this all over your face so I guess I will try that. And I know that a lot of people love the normal blur stick but that is mattifying and I don't want to be mattified. Okay, this is feeling strange and I don't know am I going to like take it out with my fingers or not I guess I am okay so it doesn't feel like it wasn't feeling like drying when I put it on and it is illuminating. This is a primer, but it's also like supposed to be like a filter for your face. And I thought that I was maybe going to like use it for that, like maybe to work or something. But I don't know. It's. I think it really is like illuminating this is called illuminating <laughs> it feels I, I look a little bit glowy we can say it like that and I don't know if it likes I don't have that much pores I have it on my nose but I don't know if it made any difference but I am like pretty glowy it doesn't look like I have something on my skin just like glow so I like that so nothing bad against this at all and I can definitely like see myself if I just feel like I have tired skin one morning or something like that I could definitely like sweep this over my face and be a little bit glowy so that's good and it smells a little bit like orange, like a sweet citrus scent. Is it supposed to be that? I don't know though, it doesn't feel like hygienic to like have it on your face from the stick, but it smells pretty good. So, so far, it feels good. It doesn't feel like sticky, but it doesn't feel drying. And I like this glow, so yeah, I could totally accept. Okay, now to my foundation. It feels like I don't know how to act in front of the camera and that feels so strange. So I'm going to use my normal foundation and this one I really hope that's something left. Like everything is running low at the same time. Do you, I like always have that with my like base products and stuff. Everything is lowing, low. <laughs> it's running low at the same time. Like my whitening drops and my foundation. Yes, I have bought new lightening drops because this is down. I have to take out the stopper so I have to pour it out or try to pour it out. And I actually was thinking about buying the Hydra Grip Primer from milk but then I was like I already have a primer so I can't justify that for myself but maybe next year or when the primer I have is empty okay I think that maybe my foundation is going to uh, take away a little bit of shine that I got from the blur stick but we will see and yes I look Crazy like this. And maybe I should just put on my foundation without talking. Okay, my foundation is a little bit glowing, but it feels like it's more glowy than it usually are. So maybe I should have taken blur stick on the half of my face. It's a little bit late for that. 
but it feels like it's shining through like here I don't know if you can see it but it feels like it does that and the foundation I have no trouble at all to have my foundation over okay so it looks really good like the foundation over this primer and I wonder if this will if I have to set it or not because some primers I have used with this foundation for like example the wet and wild one that I don't use anymore that one is making me that I don't have to set my foundation and because I have dry skin I like that but we will see how this but I really think that like the glow from the blur stick is shining through and I I like this okay so we can talk about the concealer thing <laughs> I have had one concealer that I really really loved that is not available anymore I hate Viva La Diva for that the brand that did that concealer so I bought this one from H&M but I think I am sensitive to this one I don't know if it if it if it has been visible on camera but I've been super dry underneath this eye I have been like red here uh, some days and it has been like crusty and I was like maybe it is my eye cream but it was only on this eye and not on this eye so I used like this another cream that is like a multi-use cream for super super dry skin and it was better uh, so I thought maybe it is my eye cream but then it came back again and now these two weeks where I have been away I haven't used this concealer and I have used my normal eye cream and now it's like gone I still a little bit dry but it's like completely gone so I was like it has to be this one because this is the only thing that I've changed so I'm not going to use a concealer that makes my eye dry I am not so I am not going to use this anymore uh, maybe to cut do a cut crease or something but this doesn't work for my eye so I thought that was a good reason to buy a new one so I bought this one from Milk. I asked on Instastore, did, have I already said this? And asking for like a tip on the new concealer and you gave me a lot of tips. And Millie from Bed to Brow, she recommended this and said that this was lightweight and I want something lightweight. So we're going to try it. I'm going to try it and this is porcelain. And I think this was the lightest one, and I haven't even opened this. Okay, it has a little duvet. Okay, so I'm going to try it. Okay, maybe not that lightweighted that I wanted it to be. And I don't know about the color, but I think... And also with a concealer, I don't want a super thick or super like coverage concealer because I don't have that much to cover and I just don't like thick high coverage concealer. This is good. Maybe I should on the other eye if I feel it. I think it is a little bit more dry than I wanted it to be but yeah okay I blend it out with my finger that ain't working good so I take my sponge again okay, I think I like this I think it looks good underneath my eyes and it doesn't feel drying but it still is a little bit sticky so I will set this one and now to the next problem I have the RCMA powder but I feel sometimes that this can with some concealers like make it too white so I usually use Linda Hallberg's 
infinity filter but this can make some concealers darker but I think I will try the Linda Holberg one I really hope that this works it doesn't feel drying at all underneath my eyes and that is good because I felt that the one from H&M could be a little bit drying underneath my eyes so this is good and this is going to be such a long get ready with me and I'm not going to think that I'm going to be able to put this up tomorrow okay so I'll take a little closer look for myself I think I like this I think it looks good I cannot say anything about how it will last but as for right now it feels good and now I'm going to try to touch my face I am still a bit sticky and I think I need to set my <laughs> foundation because I feel that if I'm going to try to take some like blush over this it's going to stick. And yes, I do like this when I put on my my powder because I don't want too much powder because that makes me dry. So the product seems to be working good together and that is always good. So I am going to do my eyebrows and I am not going to do that on cam because I'm just like sitting quiet and concentrated for a little while. So I will do my eyebrows off cam and then we are going to do something more with the face and test some new products. But now eyebrows. And yeah, I am using actually a pen for my eyebrows. I it's still hard but I'm like I'm going to use this pen up so yeah I'm going to fix my eyebrows and then we're going to test out some more products so the brows are on and don't ask me so okay over to blush I have bought the clown brush from likely makeup likely likely makeup and it looks like this if you didn't know so these are for like pretty unusual blushes and these are super pigmented so I am a little bit afraid and I don't know which one to pick and why I really wanted to have this is because I don't have a yellow blush and I don't have a orange blush and yes I know that you can use eyeshadows but like love this packaging as well so I am a little bit afraid um, we can put it like that and I don't know which color I am thinking about either this one or this one I think maybe this one super pigmented I guess so I'm going to tap this off and see if how it is it's, this is pigmented like fuck <laughs> and I really tapped it off and it's still Kind of lot and I think these are all matte and I think I like this blush maybe it wasn't the best shade to have to this look but yeah and okay this is so pigmented this has to be the most pigmented blush I have and I don't know if I look a little bit crazy okay I dipped it once and I tap it off and then I put it on and it is still like a good amount of blush left in the brush so yeah be careful that's all I have to say and oh I usually don't wear that much blush and if you have been here for a while you may know that sometimes it feels like just now I don't have set my face with setting spray and sometimes it feels like that can like tone it down. I don't think it can tone this down though but hopefully this. And yeah, I think I maybe will go over with my powder brush. But 
but I like really love this idea with a super like pigmented blush and this is the clown blush so of course it's going to be like I can look like a clown okay, I like this side I am not a super fan of this but I hope it doesn't bother you too much I don't know how much it's visible on camera either Okay, I like it, but I have to like be careful when I use it. But okay, over to the next new thing. I have bought a highlighter from Lunar Beauty. And this is the Moon Prism Powder Highlighting Powder. And I bought the color Mercury. I think this is the lightest one. And I just want to say that I, I love the packaging of this. It says Lunar Beauty. And then you open it. You open it or you try to open it. And it looks like this. And then you slide the highlighter out. And first when these came, I was like, that is the most ugliest packaging I have ever seen. But now I really like it. And it looks like the same on the back. So it's not just a little lid only thing it feels like I can easily drop it but I really love how it looks and it comes with a little plastic sheet over it and it looks like this and it has plastic on the mirror so okay I have no idea what to expect okay, it picks up on the brush good and I have like no idea how this is going to look and it feels really pigmented. And it's not like, I don't like that super chunky highlighters. Sometimes yes, but like if I have to choose between chunky or not chunky, I choose not chunky. But this was really good. I really like this one. It was easy to blend out and it's like I like it and now I don't know what this video is is this a get read with me or is this a tutorial or first impression I don't know I'm going to spray my face with a little bit of setting spray and we will see how this looks after this the highlighter I feel that you don't have uh, I feel some highlighters you like have to spray with setting spray but this one I don't feel that but I'm going to spray because I hoping that this blush tones down a little bit okay the only problem I have with the blush now it's this side I like this side I don't like so I maybe should have just going overboard on both sides because now it's different on both sides Okay, and now I am going to fix my under eyes because we can't dive it like this. Maybe I look a little bit more normal when I have my under eyes fixed, I really hope. Okay, so I am almost done. A problems. I have one product left to test out. I think I'm going to use this. Yes. Because I want something in my waterline and I was so sure because I bought the fusion kit um, the new crayons from Linda Hallberg and I was so sure that I was going to use like the teal one but now when I'm looking at this I don't know if I want something light but no okay. So I also bought I've also bought the fusion kit and the multifunctional crayon the new crayons from Linda Hallberg and I wasn't planning on buying these first, but then they said that these were limited edition and I was like, I can't miss out on crayons from Linda Hallberg, so I bought them. So these are five new ones and these are only available in the kit. I think I maybe would put on swatches on these on my Instagram. Um, but it is one that is... It's not safe for the eyes. I think I'm going to use it on my eyes, but they say that it's not 
they cannot guarantee eye safety in the regulations of EU and that is the lighted mood it's like a pick I'm actually thinking if I'm going to take this on my lips today and then it is Giga Flash that looks like a, maybe I don't know not going to describe <laughs> and this one I am thinking about taking a guilty mood it's like a teal I hope and then it's an orange one Altair flesh and cat flesh. So these are a little bit different. This kit is a little bit different from the other ones because these are some different. These are two mood crayons because she has a mood kit and three flesh crayons. So these are shimmery, I think, and these two I think is matte. So I'm thinking about taking Guilty Mood in my waterline and the Lighted Mood on my lips. And these are a new formula on the crayons and this is supposed to be softer than the older ones. I have nothing against the older ones, so we will see how this new formula is. Okay, this definitely feel a little bit softer. And I can feel with the older pens, well, <laughs> the older formula, that it is it's not hard to put them on your waterline but some of them when you're going to put them on your lips they are a little bit too dry so I it's going to be fun to see if this one is easier on the lips so I will put on some mascara and I will also take this on my lips and we will see how it looks maybe it is I don't know Okay, so I will fix that and then I will come back and I maybe will do a little recap on my first impression with some of the products I've tried. So, okay, this is not like a lip color that I am comfortable in, which maybe sounds a little bit strange because I am com more comfortable in black lips than in this, but I'm going to go with this. So, I don't know how to end this because I don't know if this like went from a get ready with me till like a first impression testing a lot of new things and it doesn't feel like I got like something out of this. I don't know what I want to get out of this but I hope you like this but I am going to talk a little bit of the new things that I've tried. So maybe we can start with the base things. So this one I really liked it and I I don't know if it is like visible now but it still feels good on the skin and it gave but I think like in my forehead I still have a little bit glow and I haven't had any highlighter on my forehead so maybe a little bit shines through and I like this my first impression is good the same with the concealer it doesn't feel dry I think it is a little bit thicker than I wanted it to be but it feels good and doesn't feel drying and that was what I wanted out of this so that is good and what do we have more the blush um love the concept love like the four different colors like it the packaging and I think it's going to be so fun to play with this just I just have to be careful and I am thinking to do like a whole look with this like my eyeshadows because this is safe for the eyes as well so I am thinking about doing both my face and my eyes with this if you want that please let me know and I will fix it so yeah and the last base product the Lunar Beauty highlighter in Mercury and I like this. I don't know if it's like unique to my collection because it, it feels like it's pretty similar to like Citrine and also to maybe Pixi, no but to Citrine. I have to swatch a little bit but I like it. It was easy to work with and it was really, you don't, it was not it went on good and it was like sinking into the skin. Some highlighters I really want to spray for them to like be one with my foundation and everything. But I feel that this one was it without spraying so that's good if you don't like to use setting spray. And it feels really good and I really like this packaging now even though I hated it first. 
And the last new thing I tried was two of the new pens from Linda Hallberg and they are more creamier. I used Guilty Mood in my waterline, nothing to complain about and I used the lighted mood on my lips. It is easier than the old ones because I have pretty dry lips right now, it went on good even though my lips are dry but I it's not a lip color for me if we say it like that I think it's a little bit too much with the eyes but like them and if you love or if you like the crayons from Linda Harburg you are not going to be disappointed and it's going to be fun to see like the new flash crayons in the new formula so yeah I'm really looking forward to use this and that was all the new products I think and that was all for this get ready with me first impression it feels like I'm all over uh, I am going to try to came up in my schedule again with four videos a week I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it this week we will see if this even comes up tomorrow that is Monday because I start have to start edit soon but yeah it feels great to be home again and it's going to be so fun to play with some more makeup and the next video maybe is going to be a first impression on a new eyeshadow palette and a little hint it's also from Luna Beauty. So yeah, uh, I really hope you like this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!